Okay, uh, let's go over uh, practice exam one, uh, number eight, right? So we want to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of uh, this given function f of x, and it has to be parallel to this given line, right? So as usual, if you're looking for the equation of the tangent line, then you, you need one, we need to find a point. And as usual, uh, let's call it uh, x1, comma, y1. Right? And the two, we need to have its slope. Right? And let's call it m. Right? Since uh, it is parallel to the given line, 6x plus y plus 4 equals 0, which means that uh, it has to have the same slope as that line, right? So let's uh, find that slope. Uh, so 6x plus y plus 4 equal to 0. We can uh, isolate y so that we can rewrite it in um, slope-intercept form. We can just subtract 6x and subtract 4 from both sides. So we get the y is equal to uh, negative 6x minus 4. All right? So you can see that the slope is sitting right here. All right? So this is our slope. All right? All right, so this, this problem is slightly different from uh, other problems. We usually have a point given, but the point is the one that, that we really need to find. All right, and uh, let's try to find that. All right, knowing that the slope is negative 6, we have to find a point on the graph of f of x such that the slope of the tangent line is exactly equal to negative 6. Then we know that this uh, derivative of the function always tells us about the slopes of the tangent lines. So we're going to take the derivative. So derivative of this function f of x. Right? Then here, uh, we just take the derivative. So put 2 in front. Then negative 1 third is already there. So it's negative 2 thirds x and subtract 1 from the power, so it's just the first power, right? Then we know that the, this guy has to be at, at x1. Maybe uh, I'll write it this way. How about that? In order to find a slope, what we do is we take the derivative and plug in the x value of the point, so in this case, x1, right? So which is going to be? negative 2 thirds x1, right? Because we plug in x1, right? But we know that, that this has to be equal to negative 6 because uh, that's the slope we need, so negative 6, right? Then we can just uh, solve this equation, right? So we can multiply both sides by 3 and... Um, we're going to get um, uh, negative 2x1 is equal to negative uh, 18. Then divide it through by negative 2 to find the x1. So x1 is equal to positive 9. Right. So we found x1, positive 9. Right? Then in order to find the corresponding y value, which is y1, y1 is simply plug in x1 into the original function, not the derivative. Uh, so it's going to be 9, which is equal to... All right, so plug in 9, so it's going to be negative 1 third 
then you have a nine plugged in squared, right? So this is going to be negative. So nine times nine is 81 divided by three, which is equal to negative uh, 27, right? So we found the y1 to be negative 27, right? So then we can use a slope intercept form, you know, y minus y1 is equal to slope times quantity x minus x1, right? So let's do that. So therefore, we have our equation y minus y1. So it's going to be plus 27 is equal to slope is negative 6 times quantity x minus x1. So it's uh, 9. Right? Uh, if you want, uh, you can rewrite it as, uh, let's say, multiply out. Uh, so that's going to be negative 6x. Uh, so negative 6 times negative 9 is positive 54, right? Then you can just uh, subtract 227 to get the y equals negative 6x. Uh, so subtract 24, so plus 27, right? So that's the equation. So negative 6x plus 27. All right, I just want to show you how this works on uh, GeoGebra. So I'm going to open up uh, GeoGebra, right? All right. So let's uh, sketch the uh, function f of x. So f of x is uh, equal to, right, um, one-third x squared, right? So to type that in. Oh, actually, sorry, it was a negative one-third. Forgot to put the negative sign, so I'm going to uh, adjust that, putting a negative sign there, and uh, close. All right, so this is a graph of the function, and the given line is 6x plus y plus 4 equal to 0. So, so that's the given line, All right? So what, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make a slider so that I can move the point. Uh, so just a regular slider. Uh, let's see, somewhere around here. All right. So I'm going to call it A and uh, maybe go from 0 to 10 so that it uh, covers everything. All right. Then apply. All right. Then I'm going to make a point, just a random point on the... Um, uh, on the graph, so I'm going to call it a comma f of a, right? Then, right. So you can see that I can move the point by moving the slider. All right, All right. Then we want a tangent line parallel to this. So there's a, there's a parallel line. So here, parallel line. Choose that. Then it says that select a point. So I'm going to choose this point a. Then I want it parallel to this line, so choose that, All right? So you can see the parallel line, All right? So just to make sure that uh, we have um, a tangent line, I'm gonna, you know, tangent line is about there, but I wanna make sure that there's gonna be a real tangent line. I'm gonna uh, make uh, another uh, intersection points uh, so that I can see. So here's my intersection point and uh, click on that. All right, then what I will do is uh, I'm going to move this um, point the up until it becomes a tangent line. So you see that the, this is, as I move the point, it moves the tangent line, All right? So let's move this, All right? So the tangent line we're looking for is, it's, it's not tangent line yet, it's a secant line because there are two intersections. So as I move this and I have to make sure A and B and coincide, right? Looks like uh, that's where uh, you have a tangent line. 
and look at the equation of the tangent line. Uh, equation of the tangent line shows up uh, right here. All right, uh, maybe I'll write, rewrite it in a different different way. Hold on, uh, right, like that. All right. So you can see that the equation of the tangent line is y equals 6x plus 27, which is exactly what we found. All right, that's it. I hope that, that this was clear.